Welcome back. We are joined now by Colleen from the Sylvan Learning Center of Mechanicsburg. She brought some fun crafts to help you explain pie and understand pie yourself to your kids. And the best part is they can be with you and the kiddos. They're not just for kids because we're going to see what she brought today and we're going to create some fun projects in order of Pie Day. We know Pie Day, a lot of the focus is on eating pie, right? Oh, yeah. But oh, there yeah. are so many other things you can do, too. So explain some of the things you brought for us. Absolutely. Well, let's start with uh, everyone's favorite, which is eating pie. We had a couple of activities going on in our centers this past week focusing on pie. Um, in our center, we did a vote for our favorite pies, and all of the kids got to pick which their favorite pie was. And we're going to be chowing down on the winner this week, so that's very exciting. Um, but in our York location, we have also had um, some voting going on for our favorite pizza slices. Um, so I was going to have you try to make your favorite pizza make, slice today pizza. to add to the graph. Okay. Uh, basically, so we have a nice little graph here of mm -hmm. all of our favorite pizza slices. We've got cheese, pepperoni, meat lovers, Hawaiian, mm. and everything. So what do you think? What are your guys' favorite pizza slices? Don't you even slices? try the Hawaiian. I, see, I like I like you, any pizza. Oh, it doesn't matter what it is. No, I'm going to go with everything because that's what I'm feeling. Yeah. And I right. also feel like it needs a little love. All right, perfect. <laughs> well, so then you're going to go ahead and you're going to make, make yourself a slice everything. of everything everything pizza here. So I've got everything you need. We've got some pizza slices, okay. some toppings, some cheese. You're going to go ahead and you're going to make yourself a pizza slice here. I'm going to do this. One of the other things that we've got going on is uh, pi is an ever expanding digit. It's got decimals that go on forever and ever and ever. There's still people trying to figure out what uh, the next digits of pi are. Uh, one really cool uh, coding activity that you can do with your students to kind of introduce them to the concept of pi and coding. So you can actually code a pi bracelet. Um, I've got my pi bracelet on right here. Um, and so basically what we're going to do is we are going to pick a string color. What is uh, a color that is your fancy? I'm, I'm Go purple today because it's also Women choice. in STEM Day, so you wear it purple is for Women it. in STEM Day, and STEM is actually one of the things that we do at Sylvan Learning Center. Um, our Mechanicsburg and York locations are both trying to get STEM up and running. It's one of the things that we love to do there, so uh, this is actually a great activity to tie right on into STEM. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a bracelet based on our digits of pi, and what we're going to do is we're going to put on that number of beads for that digit. So our first digit of pi is three. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with our first color. What would you like three beads of? I'm going to stick on the purple theme. All right. So I'm let's stick with purple and you'll probably want to tie yourself a knot around that first okay. purple bead Good there. Call. How am I doing here? Oh yeah, how's this pizza I'm slice just looking? Oh, everything this on is there. a beautiful is that looking. Good? That is a beautiful slice <laughs> of everything pizza. Good. Can we can we look at that? Yeah. Get a close up on that one. All right. So now that we've got that pizza slice, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that to our chart. So let's go glue? ahead and get a little bit of glue on there. Okay. And you can be our official first, first vote make for sure the everything kids know pizza. Where this came <laughs> from. Oh, they'll know where this came from. All right, All so, right. so how are we doing over here? We've got right. three over here, so our next digit is one. So, so go ahead and throw one. one bead on there. So as Jackie does that, tell everybody real quick at home yeah. how that they can get involved with Sylvan, because uh, this looks like it's it's learning, but it's fun and it's interactive. Absolutely, absolutely. So one of the big things that we do at Sylvan, um, we've got four locations, Mechanicsburg, York, Lancaster, and Palmyra, and all of us focus on the same thing. We are just here to make learning easier for students and more enjoyable for students. We're here to really give them the boost that they need. but it's not all about the learning, it's also about the fun as well. Um, so we try to incorporate as many fun activities into our learning as we can, um, but also during our break time. So our kids get something called transition time, and that's where we're doing all of this fun stuff. So all of our parents, they just have to sign up, get their kiddos started, and they get, get to going. do all this fun stuff. So, so this is stuff that you guys do there at Sylvan. Of course, this is a lot of the stuff that you can do at home right Absolutely. now with your kids to teach them about pie, start learning the terminology, and it's a complex subject it really sometimes, is. Matt, but it, really it doesn't is. have to be, and it can be fun. No, Which absolutely. Cool. We, we really try to start with the intro, uh, introduction to what really makes math and reading and yeah. learning very, very fun. Um, introducing students to pie with activities pie, like crafts pie, and pizza pie, pie and regular pie. Yeah. That is a really, really great way to introduce them to what's actually a very complicated math concept. And Colleen, thank you so much for coming absolutely. in with us. Jackie, you got to I'm very focused. Oh, she's very focused. I'm very focused. Very focused. Very focused. Beautiful you brief. know what? I, I know. I know the next number is after a 3.14. There we go. She doesn't need Sylvan at all. No. <laughs> all right, hey guys. If you, you want to learn more information about Sylvan Learning Center, go to our website. We have a list of the locations. You know what it is. Fox43.com.